everybody, today I am back with the week 2 predictions of the NFL 2021-2022 season. Last week was a week full of surprises and upsets. So yeah, I got quite a few wrong. I got, I think I went 9-7 and seven or something in my pick -em, so uh, I hope I can do better this week, but it's not too bad for the first week. So we start our uh, Thursday night football game off with the Washington football team against the Giants. Uh, the football team lost against the Dolphins and the Giants also lost, but I forgot again, I forgot against uh, against the Denver Broncos. Um, the Washington defense looked good. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick got in, uh, got injured, which is a bummer for them, but I think Heineke is uh, the starting QB now and. I think he's alright, he looked good in the playoff game last season, so... The football team for sure has a better defense than the Giants, and I think both offenses will be slow, so I'm gonna give the edge to the Washington football team here. Then we have the Chicago Bears um, against Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati had the upset win against the Vikings in overtime. Uh, Jamar Chase looked good. Joe Burrow also looked good again. Uh, the Bears lost against the Rams and uh, Matthew Stafford. The offense was alright. Like, okay, Dalton is meh. Everybody wants Justin Fields to start, but uh, the running back Montgomery looked great. Uh, so maybe he can tear it up again against the Bengals. It's a quite difficult one to pick, because was the upset win against the Vikings just a fluke for the Bengals or not? I'm gonna... Ride the wave and ride the hype and uh, say that the Bengals will win against the Bears. Then we have the Texans against the Browns. Uh, the Browns played a good game against the Chiefs but lost in the end. I think they were ahead for most of the game. But uh, um, I think a punt fumble, uh, something with the punt went wrong. And then Baker Mayfield had an interception or something. So some things in the end went wrong but overall they had a great game the Texans somehow surprised and won against the Jaguars although it is just the Jaguars a team that is rebuilding but still I expected the Jags to win last week so yeah surprise win from the from the Texans I don't think that will that convinces me to to uh, give them the win here I think the Browns take that W then we have uh, the Rams against the Colts uh, the Colts lost against I don't remember, let me check if I can find it. Uh -huh. Against who did they lose? Um, the Colts, let me think. Indianapolis. Uh, oh, against the Seattle Seahawks, yep, yep, yep. The Seahawks are always good in the beginning of the season. Carson Wentz looked like he... Yeah, I still needed some time to get used to the system and stuff. Um, and the Rams look good against the Bears, so... I think the Colts are still, you know... Slowly getting into it, and uh, I think the Rams will take that W. Then we have the Bills against the Dolphins. The Bills surprisingly lost against the Steelers, because everybody had the Bills as one of the best teams this year. And the Dolphins squeezed out a win against the Patriots, so... Yeah, this is tougher to predict than I, than I had expected. If I had to predict it last week before I knew the results of that week, I would have for sure gone with the Bills. But now, it's going to be Josh Allen against Tua. And the Miami defense looked quite alright. I'm still going to give it to the Bills, but I could see it uh, actually going either way. Then we have the Patriots against the Jets. Um, the Jets lost against the Panthers and Sam Darnold, so he got his revenge game like I predicted. And then the Patriots, uh, yeah, lost against the Dolphins. I think the Patriots are better though, and uh, they will take the win. Then, my team, the Philadelphia Eagles against the San Francisco 49ers. Both teams won. Um, I'm quite happy that I predicted the Eagles to win against the Falcons. They did. Amazing, Hurts looked good, Devontae Smith with his first touchdown, the defense only gave 6 points, I was impressed. Although the 49ers also looked amazing against the Lions for the first 3 quarters of the game. Then they like gave up a bunch of points in the 4th quarter, but before that they looked amazing. So, 
I am gonna give it to the San Francisco 49ers. I hope the Eagles can um, have an upset game or even uh, or uh, actually try to make it close. I hope it's close. Uh, yeah, because I'm an Eagle fan after all. Then we have the Steelers against the Raiders. The Steelers had an upset win against the Bills, but it was quite the ugly game. But the Steelers always have a good defense. And then we had the Raiders against the Ravens. That was back and forth, but the Raiders came out uh, with the win in overtime. The Ravens looked good. Carr looked good. Um, their, uh, Max Crosby looked good. But can they do as well against the Steelers' defense? Hmm. I don't know. It's quite a hard one to predict again. I'm gonna give the Raiders a dub, actually. I think that's... Um, yeah, I think most give Pittsburgh the dub, but I'm gonna right away with the Raiders. Uh, then we have New Orleans at Carolina. New Orleans won with James Winston James Winston putting on, putting on the show. The Panthers also won, but it was against the Jets, so yeah. And the Saints won against the Packers and actually demolished them, so... I'm gonna give them the W here. Then we have the Broncos who won against the Giants and the Jacksonville Jaguars who lost against the Texans. So, pretty obvious I'm gonna say Broncos win against the Jacks. Then you have the Cardinals who had a great game against the Titans and uh, ended up winning that one. And then the Vikings that lost that game in overtime against the Bengals. So, I think the Cardinals will take that win. Although it might be closer than I think. Then we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who won against the Cowboys, although it was not with a big margin. And then the Falcons who lost against the Eagles, so yeah, pretty obvious that uh, I think the Bucks are going to win that one. I want to yes like that. Then we have the Chargers against Dallas. Dallas looked good in their opening even though they lost. Their, off their offense looked pretty good. A uh, couple of good throws by Dak Prescott. Um, Ezekiel Elliott still needs to wake up. So yeah, it's quite a hard one to predict. I think the Chargers won against... Against who did the Chargers win again? Oh yeah, against uh, the Washington football team. So yeah, they won against a great defense. So they're probably going to score more points this game. But Dallas is also going to score more than the, the Washington football team. So yeah. I'm gonna give it to the Chargers, but I wouldn't be this surprised if Dallas actually won this one, which would be bad, of course, because I'm an Eagles fan. Then we have the Seahawks, who won, and then the Titans, who lost against the Cardinals and didn't look that good. Derek Henry didn't have that good of a game. And the Seahawks had a great game. Russell Wilson, a couple of good th uh, throws to lock it. The running game was alright, so yeah, I'm gonna give the Seahawks the win. Then we have the Ravens against the Chiefs. The Chiefs uh, had that comeback win against the Browns. And the Ravens, like I said, had that um, back and forth game with the Raiders. But I think the Browns are better than the Raiders. And the Chiefs won against the Browns and the Ravens lost against the Raiders. So I think the Chiefs take this game. Then we have the Packers who got demolished by the Saints and the Lions who almost kind of came back against the San Francisco 49ers. But I think the Lions are still rebuilding and the Packers should rebound. So I will give Green Bay the win. So yeah, these are my predictions. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and I hope I get a, a lot of, you know, predictions right. And if you have any other predictions, let them know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.